Alright, so I thought about it a little bit off camera, and we do have other options besides Verizion. As much as I want to use this thing, and as unique as it may seem, it doesn't really seem like it's fitting too well, and I only got two members of the team right now, so maybe I'll make a team around Verizion later, but right now, Verizion doesn't seem to fit, so I'm not totally cutting it out, but let's analyze our other options, because I seem to conveniently, oh, I'll, this is Facebook, don't, 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 don't look at that. Anyways, um, now, I feel like Verizion, it's cool. But maybe it's not meant for us right now, so whatever. We're going to look at the other options that we have for Grass Pokemon that I really wanted to use. And um, we have Chestnut here now, so let's analyze every single thing that Chestnut can do. And then we'll see. We'll put Verizon at the bottom since I'm not really considering it too much right now. And um, Chestnut. Alright, so let's take a look at everything that he can possibly use. Hammer Arm, Belly Drum, That's, those, are, those are good options. Hammer Arm, Belly Drum. Okay, tackle, growl, vine whip, roll up. Oh yeah, some of you were saying like, oh, Etika, you know, you should probably use like, you know, the team builder, Marilyn stuff. I would, but you know, I, this is the way I've always done it, and I guess I'm kind of stuck in my ways, you know, but I, I usually like analyzing everything about the team. Although the Marilyn team builder can be really useful for analyzing like your weaknesses, like the actual weaknesses and resistances of the team, but you can kind of figure that out yourself on paper, but it does help to have the visual representation. And I know the usual chestnut set is like going in there with leech seed and just kind of like stalling them out. But I kind of want to go for a more offensive set. And you may think that his stats aren't really made for that. Well, maybe maybe not optimized for that. But I think that he could pull off a really nice special, I mean, I mean, a really nice offensive set. Maybe we can go in there with a freaking assault vest chestnut, man. I'm thinking, I'm thinking we're going to go with an assault vest chestnut. We're going to catch people off guard with that shit. Um, but let's see what he's got first. Let's see what he's got. Leech Seed, that's an interesting option. The usual option, I think. I think most chefs not have Leech Seed. Oh boy, let's see. Um, Leech Seed, Pin Missile, Needle Arm, Take Down, Seed Bomb. Why didn't he Seed Bomb when he has freaking, um, well, I, I guess it could be a potential option. Let's see, Seed Bomb. Okay. Let's go. Make sure you guys can see my, my face. Okay, that's good. Let's do this other way around. There we go. But yeah, um, C bomb. C bomb just seems like it's totally outdone by like you know wood hammer or something better. So C bomb, spiky shield, mud shot. Spiky shield, I guess, is an option too. But damn! As soon as I said um, assault vest chestnut, I just instantly was like, yeah, that's a damn good idea. But um, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I kind of wanna. Analyze everything he's got. Bulk up. Bulk up. Wow. Chestnut has so many options. I really like the options he's got to offer, man. This is, a, this is an interesting Pokemon. Bulk up. Body slam. Pain split. Pain split? Chestnut has pain split? What? That's an interesting. That's, now that's interesting right there. Holy crap. Pain split. Wood hammer. Hammer arm. Okay, I think I already had hammer arm. Wood hammer. Okay, 120, 100, that's really high base power moves. Giga Impact, Spike Shield again. So now he's got Home Claws, and Dragon Claw. Although Dragon Claw doesn't really seem like it'll be used, but hey, we, we have it listed on the options at least. It could potentially be used, that's what this point is, you know, just to see everything they got and then break it all down. Roar and Toxic, those are definitely viable. Okay, um, bulk up once again, taunt, taunt is good, <laughs> taunt, okay, let's see what else he's got here, protect, you don't need to protect with the spike shield I think, um, hyper beam, smackdown, earthquake, very viable, return, dig, Brick Break, I don't know, maybe. Double Team, Reflect, Sludge Bomb, Boxing Mirror, Ace, Low Sweep, Focus Blast, Energy Ball, Flame, Shadow Claw, Shadow Claw, nah, nah, nah. Payback, Retaliate, Giga Impact, Stone Edge, Stone Edge, definitely. Um, Gyro Ball, Sword Dance, Sword Dance, definitely. Uh, 
uh, Bulldoze, Rock Slide. Rock Slide can be viable over Stone Edge. We'll put that as an option next to it because, you know, that accuracy. That accuracy. Okay, um, Poison Jab. <laughs> Sixth Gen, that's definitely an option, baby. That's definitely an option. I'm not gonna sleep on Poison Jab. I'm not. Okay, um, Grass Knot Swagger, Rock Smash, Power Up Punch. And, um, I don't really like Power Up Punch too much. It's not, it's not, it's not a move that I really get too crazy about. I mean, some people use it a lot, which is fine by me, but I don't like it too much, but whatever. I mean, I guess I'll try it one day. Let me see. Um, belly Drum, Curse. Ooh, okay. Do I already have Belly Drum? Chestnut has so many options. Damn, I love it, baby. I love it. I can. I love that it has so many options because that means I can use more different sets and I can like make future teams with different kinds of Chestnut. You know, it's, it's really amazing, man. I love it. I really love it. Um, curse, Defense, Curl, Quick Guard, Rollout, Spikes. Damn, Chesty. Damn. This is crazy. Synthesis. Wow, Synthesis 2, so we can recover its HP. Wow, dude. Synthesis, Frenzy Plant. Finally, his moves end. Like, damn, Chestnut gets so much shit. I can't wait. Okay, um, what are we gonna do, man? What are we gonna do? I really like the idea of having an Assault Vest Chestnut, baby. I, I'm really feeling that idea right now. Um, just because he has really high base power moves and although his attack ain't the greatest, if we go max attack, max HP, and then throw an assault vest on there, he's gonna be he's gonna be taking them hits. He's taking them hits, baby. I'm loving the idea of a freaking assault vest set right now. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. Alright, so you know what? Yeah, I think it's I think we're decided, man. Assault vest chestnut. We're gonna go in there with hammer arm. And then wood hammer, but then again, wood hammer will take away his HP from the recoil. So that, hmm, is it worth it having wood hammer? But then again, what other grass move physical does he have that'll do a lot of damage? You know what I mean? Like, what am I gonna put needle on? Sure, the recoil sucks, but I guess I gotta deal with it, man. Needle arm, spiky shield. Let's see, what other physical grass move does he have? Yeah, so that's no solar beam. No, of course not. Energy ball, grass knots, synthesis. Damn, it's gonna really suck losing. Um, it's gonna really, really suck losing my freaking um, my um, HP with the wood hammer all the time. But I, I think it'll be worth it. I think the assault vest set is really interesting on him. I really want to try it. I want to try it. It sounds crazy. I know. It sounds crazy. I understand this, but still. Steel Chestnut. I, I'm loving it. I'm loving the idea of it. So you know what? Yeah, we're going with the Salt Vest Chestnut. I'm going to save these options for later on because these could be potentially useful. Um, hammer Arm. Wood Hammer. And then, um, what else? Sea Bomb, Spiky Shield, blah, 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 blah. Home Claws, Dragon Claw, Toxic, Taunt, Earthquake. And then, um... Let's go in there with a um, Stone Edge or Rock Slide. Maybe Poison Jab. Maybe Poison Jab. Just to hit Azumarill really fucking hard. No, no, Azumarill is going to hit me hard with the fucking Play Rough. So I, maybe I shouldn't even be staying in on Azumarill. But maybe I should make my Chestnut a little bit faster so it can be able to outspeed Azumarill. How much speed do Azumarill even have? I want to see. Because we got to make sure that this set can outspeed Azumarill in the most basic way. So this way that thing isn't a problem. Um, I hope it's faster. Oh, Azumarill's only base 50 speed? Oh, we're gonna be able to outspeed this thing. He's not gonna be able to hit us with the freaking play rough at all. Oh, man, and then Chestnut is... We got Azumarill, baby. Any Azumarill's coming, it's a wrap. What you got? What you got? The play rough? Oh, that's so fun. Ah, Wood Hammer. <laughs> it's gonna be great. It's gonna be fucking great. All right, we, we already good. We already good. All right, um, Earthquake, and um, I don't think we need Poison Jab, then, if we're going to be hitting Azumarill with a freaking hammer on what else is really fairy that's going to be presenting that much of a threat to me at this point, I feel, you know? Like, come on, man. Maybe we can experiment. You know what, Poison Jab, I'll keep that for later. But for now, we're going to put Stone Edge on this thing as well. 
kind of crazy, but um, maybe rock slide. Man, maybe rock slide. I'm, I'm not liking Stone Energy's accuracy. Rock slide, baby. And um, now that we have that set up, let's just, um, you know what? I don't need these options here. We'll, we can just redo them anyways later on. There's no problem. Um, chestnut, assault this. And um, let's have him with 252 attack, of course, adamant. And now for the other stats, this is where it gets interesting. We're going to need to pull up Pokemon Showdown for this, because we're going to do some real calculations here. Um, plus, plus attack. And uh, Nidoqueen Queen is going to be plus special attack. I'll do Durant's later. Actually, let me do this now. Um, Cause I, actually, that's the thing. I don't really know what item I want Durant to have right now. Life Orb seems obvious, but that recoil damage is going to fuck me in the long run. So I'm just feeling like maybe I should install a Muscle Band on Durant. <laughs> a fucking Muscle Band, dude. Oh man. <laughs> muscle Band Durant. That, now that's that's definitely standard. Okay, so now Chestnut, we're going to pull you up on Showdown. We're going to see what stats we want to boost up. Um, let's just go to the team builder here. Um, oh yeah, this this team here. Let's just add Pokemon Chestnut. Oh, it's not Chestnut. It's not Chestnut. It's Chestnut. Okay, I got it. So um, now. We're gonna go in there, our max attack, you know, as much attack as possible. Let's go Adamant in this bitch. There's Adamant, oh, at the top, of course. And now we have 344 attack, so you know, not bad, not bad. I can hit stuff really hard, but those high base power moves, the high base power will more than compensate for the low attacking power. Right, not the low, but you know, the, not the high as you want attacking power that he has, the base attack, you know? So now he has such great defense. Do we even have to invest in that at all? I don't, I don't think so, man. I really don't think so. But now, with base 186, um, his defense, I mean, his special defense would be 186. So let's see what that would be with the Assault Vest on. 186 times 1.5 makes 279. Let's try, let's, let's, let's I want to get that special defense to at least above um, 300. So let's see, 193 now. Let's see, 193 times 1.5 289 we gotta bump it up a little bit more a little bit more this kind of breaks the rules of assault vests because you're kind of not supposed to really invest in the special defense at all but I'm investing in the special defense which is kind of gonna defeat the purpose but I want to get the special D to above 300 200 well, I kind of don't need to do the calculator for this, but hey, let's, let's continue doing it anyways. 10.5, that'll make 300 exactly. Now, that's solid. 300 special defense with the assault vest on, that'll be solid. And now let's make it so that the defense gets rose to above 300. This sounds crazy, but I, I feel like this will be solid. And then now, the HP, rest of it goes to HP. So, we're gonna have 300 special defense with the assault vest, 300 defense, with my regular defense, and then max attack, and then the rest in HP. This is one crazy ass set, but I feel like this will work out for the better. It's going to work out, trust me. I really feel solid around having 300 and then having above, like we have base 300 and, no, we're gonna have 347 HP. And with 347 HP, accompanied with defense 300 and special defense 300, it's gonna be nice. It's gonna it's gonna pay off. It's gonna be really hard taking this thing down. It's gonna be bulky on both sides. Be able to take hits all day, er day. I'm gonna need wish support though. I'm gonna need it because he has no way to recover HP. No Giga Drain. No no Horn Leech, which I think he should have gotten because of the horns. But um, this guy is not gonna be able to take. He's not gonna be able to take damage for too long. So we're gonna need wish support in there. It's a it's a necessity. Absolutely necessary to get some wish support. 